New at 11, two local chapters of the NAACP are among a group of organizations demanding an apology from the mayor of Yonkers. It's over a remark he made about Congressman Jamal Bowman on a radio show. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports from Westchester County. Two weeks after Congressman Jamal Bowman was arrested in D.C. for protesting in support of voting rights, there is outrage over Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano quipping about his arrest on a local radio show. We got a woke squad a guy that's uh, in Congress in our yeah. district. Uh, I to get arrested uh, again. Well, listen, they should have arrested him for his vote on, on the infrastructure bill. Yes. Um, but, uh, you know, listen, I, I, I'm very, Phil, you know me, yeah. I'm a very sure. hardcore moderate. Right. I'm very much in the middle. I think that there is, you know, that, that both sides all have merits to their arguments. The Yonkers and New Rochelle chapters of the NAACP say Spano's remark went too far. To call for the arrest of a congressman, the first black one, to represent us in the 16th congressional district was intentional, and we are outraged. White people weaponizing the police in this country is egregious, but when it's the mayor of the third largest city in the state and the largest in Westchester County, it is deplorable. The NAACP is calling for an apology along with the black Democrats of Westchester County and the Westchester Black Women's Political Caucus, as well as other groups. In this moment of the reckoning of mass incarceration and the understanding of unfair targeting of black men, uh, it felt like a reckless and irresponsible turn of words. Congressman Bowman declined to comment. We asked Mayor Spano for a response. He provided a statement saying, I have the greatest respect for the Yonkers NAACP and take their opinion very seriously and will continue to do so. Congressman Bowman was arrested at protests supporting the voting rights bill. I wish he also had the same passion for the infrastructure bill on which he voted no. My comments were simply political rhetoric, nothing more. The NAACP tells me it still wants an apology from the mayor and to have a conversation with him. We also want to let you know that Mayor Spano is the husband of CBS2 anchor Mary Calvi. In Yonkers, New York, Lisa Rosner, CBS2 News. And late tonight, we received a statement from Tasha Diaz, the majority leader for the Yonkers City Council, in support of Mayor Spano. She said, quote, in all my experiences with Mayor Spano, I can say he stands for inclusion and respect. He's no racist. People can interpret remarks differently when politics are involved, but as a black councilwoman and a woman of color, I will stand with Mike Spano any day.